So, uh, my name's Andrew Merritt. I'm from a design practice called Something in Sun. We're based in London. The so Farm London is a wider idea. Um, today I talked about mostly about Farm Shop, which is a project we've already done, um, which is uh, basically farming within a shop. Uh, we, we, were, we won a commission in London um, and we're given a shop and um, within the shop we put different food systems. In the shop we've got, we've got three floors and we've got, a, we've got mushroom growing, aquaponics which is food linked up to um, vegetables and the, uh, the fish give the, sorry no, fish linked up to vegetables and uh, the fish provide the nutrients to the vegetables and the vegetables clean the water so for the fish. Yes, this is an okay. aquaponics system. Um, so you've got the fish down at the bottom here in the tank that are hiding around the corner. <laughs> uh, guys, guys. <laughs> so you've got the fish down here. Um, they, they poo and through the poo, they provide the nutrients to the plants. So the water is getting sucked up, sucked up through, the, um, through a pump up into the system here. Uh, this is slightly different to our system because we, we don't use, well, we use clay balls within these columns, but the main basis of our system is these, these vegetables here would be in net pots on a floating raft and they float on top of water um, and the roots are within the water. And then you keep the water moving and you have air, air pumps within it and it, and it means the water's not stagnant. And, uh, and then the, sorry, the, the poo from the fish is getting pumped up here through into this system and giving the um, plants the nutrients they need. I don't know, have you got, there should be a filter system on here as well maybe, but maybe, welcome, this is, this is a. <laughs> okay, um, we have uh, a normal uh, filter system to um, push this water into this tank, yeah? yeah. And uh, of course we have uh, only for this day um, to clean up the water because it's installed today, uh, extra uh, extra yeah. filter only yeah. for today because we have these gravels inside, yeah, yeah. and they have uh, even um, to pollute this 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 water, yeah. and it's only for today. But it comes out tomorrow. The chickens, yeah. uh, well, there's potential that you can feed. What you can do, uh, we haven't, we we're not doing it, but you can have chickens above the fish and and then they poo through the through um like steel nets uh the poo drops into the fish fish tanks and the fish eat the poo uh, but we also what we're planning we probably won't do that with farm shop um because of it's just not possible but we're, what we are planning to do is um have a um a soldier fly larvae which is a a fly that pretty much eats anything um and it produces a lot of uh young larvae and um, we'll feed uh we'll feed them the waste from the farm shop and um and then we'll feed the larvae to the fish so it's closing the loop that little bit more um in our system rather than this system's using uh, natural sunlight but in us in ours because it's inside and uh in london you've got limited space um so we we have got um grow lights hanging above them uh <coughs> and that's where they get all their their UV light from. Yeah. Well, the the bigger picture is farm <laughs> colon farm colon, and we're looking into um, farming all over the place. There's talk about Barcelona. I don't know if that will ever happen, but anyway, there's um yeah we're looking into pretty much farming all over the world, <laughs> and using we want to look what we want to do because. Um, we want to start taking up warehouses because in warehouses you can then start growing things on a flatter basis. Then you, you'd have um, sun tunnels, so you'd be able to use natural light, maybe a bit of artificial light, which would then take the energy costs down. You'd be able to produce a lot more food. Um, it would be more about producing food rather than an exhibition because the farm shop is kind of like an art installation. It is just sort of showing all the different food te techniques. It's not particularly about the amount of food we can grow. I mean it is, but but in farm factories that we would potentially call them, uh, you'd be able to grow, grow massive amounts of food, and then they would supply the farm shops. Right. You could, you probably could use it 
with uh, cannabis. There's an idea. Um, uh, um, it's normally hydroponics that you use for cannabis. Uh, yeah, so we're working with a hydroponics company in the UK, and they've, uh, I mean, a massive, a massive amount of their market is selling to cannabis growers, and they want to get away from that uh, association. But I mean, I think that's partly why, if you ever look in a hydroponics catalogue, all the prices are seem a lot of money for just a bit of plastic and whatever. And I think that's because cannabis growers are buying all this equipment and they're putting the, the price up. So if they, yeah, so basically the actual equipment you could probably make for like a lot less. Yeah, so you'd just be able to, the idea with the shop is you, you people, the public are free to come in whenever they want. The cafe's open anyway. Uh, they can come in and they can look around and uh, look for themselves. They can see the seed getting propagated. Then they can see that they can see that seed then going into the system, the, the plant growing. You, and then then you're suddenly eating that plant on on your plate. It's the same with the fish. You can see that you know, seeing that fish grow, and then it's on your plate. You, you know you're actually eating something that was alive the day before, and it's like. It's that connection again with yeah. nature. So we've, we have we have been shameless in our exploitation, and uh, we we're not scared to uh, sort of uh, talk ourselves up and uh, embrace whoever has has uh, money and just because we we just want to introduce as many people to this as possible. And it, I mean that's that's the way you got to be. The peop if you're if you're stuck in the mud, then you, things never happen. And so it is about uh, trying to embrace everything and everyone.